Our next award category is for Emerging Clean Tech Company of the Year. Finalists in this category are early stage, going after their first round of institutional funding. They have exciting technology and are led by seasoned executives. The companies are Green Garage, Raven Brick, and Van Dyne Super Turbo. The winner of the Emerging Clean Tech Company of the Year is Van Dyne Super Turbo. Ed Van Dyne. The company employs 16 at its Fort Collins facility and has raised $4 million in private equity in the past 12 months and attracted over $1 million in federal government grants. Van Dyne has signed an agreement with Cummins to develop fuel-efficient Class A trucks and with the U.S. Army to further develop diesel-powered military equipment. We wish the company good luck at its, as it presents later this week at the NRAIL Industry Growth Forum. Congratulations to Van Dyne Super, uh, Super Turbo and Ed, welcome. Please bear with me as the first time I get to uh, thank everyone involved. Uh, I'd like to thank the C CCIA for this award, uh, very prestigious and very appreciated. I'd like to thank Tom Gender, the CEO and President of uh, Woodward Governor Company, the company where we develop this technology. I'd like to thank him for buying my last company, giving me the seed of the idea for the Super Turbo in the first place, for funding the Super Turbo within the company where I was the director of research, and for letting me spin out even better. Um, I'd like to thank my father, Tom Van Dyne. He's my first investor in this company, as well as my first ever company. Um, this is now my third. Uh, I'd like to thank my mother for uh, teaching me to drive like a bat out of hell. <laughs> uh, therefore, knowing why every car in the future should have a super turbo. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dr. Schumacher, my chief scientist, for uh, his in putting his intellect into, into this device. Uh, there's a unit out on our table out in the hallway. I'd like to thank uh, Kevin Stover, my vice president of uh, uh, sales and marketing for being my biggest cheer cheerleader and my co-founder of this company. I'd like to thank Tom Waldron, my VP of operations, for getting us uh, three government contracts for this technology. I'd like to thank Mark Herbst, who's here in the room, my chief operating officer, for keeping such con tight control over cash flow in the company. I'd like to thank Tom Dean, the professor of entrepreneurship at CSU, for helping write the first business plan, as well as for uh, his uh, uh, leadership on our board of directors. I'd like to thank David Mall. I don't know if he's here. David, David Mall of Infield Capital for investing in the spin-out round of this company to spin out from Woodward. I'd like to thank all the other angel investors that have invested in the company, at least $3 million. Most of those out of, uh, out of London, England, where we seem to find all of our money because of the price of fuel over there compared to here. I'd like to thank Mark Forsyth and the Rocky Mountain Innovation Incubator where uh, we are uh, housed in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, and I'd like to thank the National Renewable Energy Laboratory for hosting this event. And finally, I'd like to thank the governor and the state of Colorado for where clean tech is not just a way of doing business, but clean living is a way of life here in Colorado. Thank you.